Hey everyone, welcome back to Keto Live Questions and Answers. Great to be back in. Can't wait to see who's going to be with me today. I am feeling absolutely amazing. Been doing the alternate day fasting. Um, I've got 13 days in. Of course, half of that was fasting, half of that was feasting, and I have lost 13 pounds. I was at my all-time lowest today, so I feel amazing. I have not seen myself ever at that weight throughout my journey, so I'm super excited, and I am so close to the 120s. Hello and welcome. Sharon, how are you doing? Welcome, who's ever in? Do me a favor and shoot me a thumbs up there. Love to see the thumbs up. Glad to hear, sweetheart. I am doing well myself. I have hit a 13 pound loss, alternate day fasting for 13 days. And of course that's half fasting, half eating and um, lost 13 pounds, and I'm at my all-time lowest today of 134. I am so excited about that. My goal is to get to 128, but I'm going to go as low as 125, so I have a little bit of room to play with. But since this uh, fasting is working so well, I'm definitely going to drop a few extra pounds um, just so I have some room. Thank you so much, honey. I'm feeling great. Woke up in a great mood when I stepped on the scale and saw myself at the all-time lowest ever. That was amazing. I'll stand up in just a moment and show you guys. I took some photos, but I'll stand up and show you guys. You can definitely see um, the loss in my stomach and everything. You can definitely see the weights coming off. So, Not that I was ever truly super heavy, but you know I'm short 5'4", and the weight I was at, I started at the 147 mark, and I'm down to 134 today. And at at 147, I was considered still obese. I was a 24.89 BMI. So uh, good BMI is from 18 to, I believe, 24. So 24 is the high end, and I was over 24. So now I sit at a 23 BMI. So now I'm in normal weight, and I just want to get to a 22 BMI. That's where I want to sit. That's like smack right in the middle. So uh, thanks for the thumbs up. If you're new and you come in, hi, Mom. It's great to see you in. Give me a thumbs up there if you see that thumbs up button. Hello, just me. How are you? Haven't seen you in here before. Are you new to my channel? And do you do keto? Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Hope you guys are hearing me okay. Am I coming through all right? Any lagging or any, any breaking up on the talking or am I coming through pretty clear for you? Oh, okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Great. Great. I'm glad I'm coming through clear. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. I feel awesome today. Today's a really good feeling to know that I hit my all-time low throughout this entire journey I've done when I uh, got to a weight that I felt happy at, I had maintained at that weight for about a year and a half and just decided I wanted to lose a little bit more and kind of, you know, went up and down a weight a little bit. But when I started this alternate day, I was at 147 and I'm now 134 today. I want to get to 125. So my dog's freaking out here because she hears her daddy. My husband just got back and she hears him out the door. <laughs> so I hope you guys can still hear me okay. Let's see. You're just starting keto. Sounds great. You're going to love it. It's amazing. Absolutely love Keo. No, no, Minnie. Got to be quiet because I'm live right now, honey. <laughs> yeah, she's crying for her daddy. Yes, thank you for welcoming him. I believe it's a him. <laughs> Hard to see the little icons. So um, the few of you that are in, if you don't mind, if you would smack that like button for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. And um, let me know how your journey's going. Sharon, are you doing alternate day fasting or keto? I don't remember. 
I'm doing both, alternate day fasting and the days that I feast, I do keto. Keep my carb at 20 or less, but I eat around 2,000 calories, and then I go 40 hours without food, and then eight hours where I eat. You do both. Wonderful, Sharon. That's wonderful. Are you losing weight? And when did you start doing the alternate day fasting? And do on the days that, oh, so you do both. You are doing keto too. Okay, that's great. And are you maintenance eating on the days that you're eating? Because it's called fasting and feasting. The way that you want to keep your metabolism going well when you are fasting like that, you want to make sure you do get in your maintenance eating, which for me is around 2,000 calories I can maintain that weight at. And then, of course, because I'm alternate day fasting, I'm losing as well because I'm going 40 hours with no food and then that eight-hour window where I eat. So let me see what they wrote. I've just been eating chicken nuggets i don't know if that's keto eggs also yeah chicken nuggets wouldn't be because um the keto is a no grain no sugar way of life so unless the chicken nuggets don't have any breading then that wouldn't be keto eggs is keto protein you know fresh meats mini come on no honey mom can you have um phelan come in here because minnie's freaking out and it's ruining my life <laughs> um but anyways it's uh a no grain, no sugar diet, and so you don't eat any uh, starchy veggies, so no corn, no uh, peas. You can have beans, good green, green leafy veggies, and um, uh, fresh meats, and then of course eggs, cheese, stuff like that. You stay away from fruits other than strawberries or raspberries. You can have them. They are low carb, because like an apple's like 30 grams of carb. You wanna keep your carb at 20 or less in a day, no more than six in one sitting. So, yeah, chicken nuggets wouldn't be on that list unless they were non-breaded. Water, of course, yep. <laughs> oh, your dog is barking because she hears mine? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, my husband, she could hear him out the window and could see him, so she was freaking out. She wanted to see her daddy. <laughs> Yeah, water is great. Now, just remember on the keto, though, you do not need to over drink. You drink just to taste because the, um, the keto is a diuretic way of life. So that being said, you're going to get rid of a lot of um, inflammation, a lot of fluid. And the more you drink, unless you are thirsty, the more you drink. <laughs> that's my hubby. The more you drink, um, you're just going to get rid of electrolytes, more electrolytes and everything. So just be careful with that. Uh, just watch that. So keep your salt levels up. You want at least 35 to 40 thousand milligrams of sodium a day um, not just in the salt shaker you want it in your foods and stuff and so it's more just drinking to taste don't over drink but if you need the water and you feel you need it then you drink it thank you mom i'm currently on a fast can bang energy drinks be drank yes they can honey on but not on a fasting day sweetheart on your feasting day you can have it on a fasting day you can only have a water Black coffee or the LaCroix, if you've ever seen that before, it's a water, basically nothing in it. It's just a, a fizzed water. You can have those, but that's it. Nothing else. You can't have anything else other than that. Just the water, the LaCroix, um, or the uh, black coffee or black tea. That's it. So don't do those energy drinks because that will break your fast. Those you can drink on your alternate days where you're feasting. Then you can have them. That's a true fast when you just do water. Yes, during the fast. Ground beef, pork rinds, I was told they will be my best friend on this diet. Yes, ground beef and pork rinds is going to be your best friend, yes. <laughs> don't, um, don't overdo the water as you may. Yes, you will definitely lose the electrolytes, so don't overdo water if you don't need to. Only drink to taste, I always teach. Um, I got to plug my phone in here, you guys, so give me just one second. I didn't realize that I was losing some battery power here. So just give me one second here to plug in. Sorry about that. <laughs> Don't want to lose you guys right in the middle of it. Yeah, Sarah, during your fast, you don't want to drink those. Nope. Can only have water, black coffee, and I said like those LaCroix. Um, they are just a water you can buy from Walmart or different stores. It's got nothing in it but like a, like a distilled water and like a, a carbonation, but there's no flavor to it. They have... they. I do have flavor like a, a passion fruit and this and that and they don't like have a lot of taste to it. there's no sweetness to it all those you can have as well but that is it or black tea <clears throat> you can't even add in <clears throat> the liquid stevia you can't even have that you can't even sweeten it because that will break it even though it doesn't have carbs in that you just can't have it when you're you know fasting like that true fasting is 
you know, true fasting, where you're basically just drinking black coffee or water. I see six of you in there and only two thumbs up. If you could smack that thumbs up button for me, I would greatly appreciate it. Helps my channel to grow and lets me know that all of you guys are happy with my channel and are enjoying it. Hanging with Mary. I have had a hard week. I failed myself on day on day of fasting. I felt so sluggish and tired week. I ended up not fasting, but seeing you now, I will stay strong today. And the way you did, the reason you did, Mary, is because you probably needed some salt. Okay, I did too when I first started the fasting. I got weak, fatigued, tired, dizzy. I even got a little bit of a headache. It's because electrolytes will drop. So what you do is you just take a teaspoon of pink salt, put it into eight ounces of water and drink it down and you're going to feel great. And if you even want to add a little bit more because we're not fasting very long, 40 hours is not that long, but if you need it, you could also do the no salt. So you would do the no salt and the pink salt together, a teaspoon of each in eight ounces of water and drink it down. That definitely would have made you feel better. Definitely within about a half hour, you would have felt a lot better. So hanging with Mary, definitely just add in. And basically all I do is the salt. I don't even mess with the potassium unless I feel I need it. And that would only be like if you really were bad. But in 40 hours, we're not fasting long enough. That would be more like three to four days of fasting. Then you would need the potassium. But if you can get a teaspoon of pink salt in or sea salt in eight ounces of water, within 20 minutes, you're going to feel great. And then your body's going to adjust and get used to it because I hardly ever do that anymore now. Yeah, Sharon, I, I, I'm not sure on those waters. I've never heard of those. I am taking it one day at a time. Yes, just take it one day at a time, sweetheart. One day at a time, hanging with Mary. That's great. Thanks. I messed up yesterday. Drank an energy drink. Oh, that's okay. You know, we learn as we go because sometimes I didn't know a lot either, but I work with, prof you know, professionals. I've got two professionals, um, uh, nutritionists I worked with, my doctor is keto, and also my brother Rob, who is here every single day with me, who tells me what I can and can't do. So, but yes. Sugar, yes, sugarless syrup on keto. Yeah, they do sell a sugar-free uh, syrup. Just me. My thumbs up isn't coming through either. Oh, that's okay. Whoever can hit it, please smack it for me. But now I'm better, thanks. Yes, good luck, Mary. More basic, the better. Yes, just keep it to the basics. If you... You just keep things simple along like along my journey when I was losing weight. Um, at one point in my life, I weighed almost 300 pounds when I started. And it took me about 15 to 16 months to get down to a weight that I was happy at, which, which was around 139 to 140. Um, I wanted to sit at and then I maintained there for about a year and a half. I kept it simple as can be. Just meat, cheese, egg. That's about it. Some, some green veggies. Kept it very simple all the way through just because I wanted to get the weight off. And also remember, while in weight loss, there's three forms of keto for losing weight, gaining weight, and maintaining weight. So a couple of you that are new here, when you're trying to lose weight, you want to use your body fat as your high fat energy source because this is a high fat, low carb diet. Okay, so you want to use your fat on your body as your high fat. So you're going to eat low fat foods. And in order to get in a little extra calories, Calorie, then just up the protein a little bit. Protein's supposed to be half your current body weight. So for instance, if you weigh 200 pounds, you'd eat 100 grams of protein. But somebody that's lowering the fat, you could go a little higher in protein and you would be okay then just to get extra calories in. But keep the fat nice and low. And that's what I was taught. Always remember that how you do it for weight loss. Once you get to maintenance, then you're going to be eating good, healthy fats because now you won't have fat left in your body. And as thin as I am, I still have fat on my body, so I still use my body fat. But because now I'm doing alternate day fasting, I do feast on those days. I eat 2,000 calories and good fats because I go 40 hours with no food. So let's see. Good Hello, Luz. Good afternoon to you, sweetheart. Thank you, Hanging with Mary. And yes, try the salt. It'll definitely make you feel better when you're feeling weird. I wish I, I thought maybe you knew about that when you're fasting like that. Don't run. Yeah, don't run out and go crazy buying up all the keto products. Just eat real food. That's all you need to do. I walked an hour today. If I control my portion, eat less and exercise for an hour a day, I figure I will lose weight. You will definitely lose weight. Yep, stay within a calorie deficit. Keep the fat really low. Use your body fat and exercise. Oh, it'll come off fast. My brother Robbie lost 150 pounds himself in five months because he kept it simple and he also um, not only kept it simple, but he also exercised every single day. So he got it off quicker than me. I would have exercised, but in the beginning I had had a car accident, so it was very hard for me to exercise. Now I can because I got all this weight off and I I feel amazing. 
Um, but yeah, in the beginning I couldn't. So it took me 15 to 16 months to lose around the same amount he did. But now I am over 150 pound loss and I'm just feeling wonderful and great. Loving the alternate day fasting. Loving it. And hanging with Mary, I don't even worry about the salt now. I haven't really had a problem. Once your body adjust you won't really even need it because fasting 40 hours isn't really long enough to have to need it but if you are urinating a lot then that's the sign that you're going to need the salt water so sometimes on the day that i feast that morning i'll do a salt water that morning i actually do just to help boost me a little bit if i need it okay excellent just me thanks you guys you you bet 225 at least I want to lose 100 in the next seven months. And you could definitely do it. 100% just me. You could definitely lose it. You just got to be tough, strong, stick to it. Don't have any cheat days. Don't go out of keto. If you want to know that you're in ketosis, you go to Walmart or any local drugstore and you buy those ketone strips. That's what they're called, ketone. You can ask the pharmacist and you urinate on them and it shows on the side of the jar. I actually will show you one. I have a bottle to show you here. If I can get to it quick enough. They are only $6 at Walmart right here. You will buy these strips here. There's different ones, and there's the side there. That would be negative. Anything over means you're in keto. The darker, the more fat that you're burning. So you would want to buy these and test on these to see, to make sure that you're in ketosis always, because then you're going to continue to burn fat, and yeah, you will see the weight just fly off. Can you please give me foods that I can eat on keto? Absolutely, just fresh meats. So, you know, if you want to keep it lean, you want to keep it lean. So ground chicken, chicken, regular chicken breast, ground turkey, um, any kind of seafood, like, uh, but fresh, remember fresh. So like, well, not fresh, it can be frozen, but I mean, it has to be real. Can't be imitation crab, but like crab, um, uh, shrimp, lobster, tuna. You can have tuna fish. You can have any kind of fish. You can have cod. Um, salmon and kind of fish, stuff like that. Keep it low in meats. And if you want to have a red meat, go the lowest you can in the, the ground beef. Um, and then good green leafy veggies, you want to eat those. Um, you know, keep it simple. Don't use oils and butters or anything right now. And the only ones you can use on keto is olive oil, coconut oil, um, avocado oil, um, and then, of course, butter. But right now, because you're in weight loss, you want to use water in your pans or nonstick pans to cook with. You want to keep it as low as possible. You cannot use those Pam sprays. They are not keto approved. So don't use those. And uh, basically just keep it simple. Also eggs. You can have the eggs. You can have the cheese. Again, buy low fat cheese, buy low fat mayonnaise, buy low fat sour cream, buy low fat cream cheese, all this stuff right now. Do low fat and you'll get it off super, super fast. And if you go into my playlist on my channel. Look up keto style mukbangs and you're going to see many recipes that I've done. And if they were a higher fat, I teach you in the video how to lower it to make it, you know, a lower fat version for you. So, and I have over a hundred recipes that I've come up with. I've recreated almost everything out there and turned it into keto. So it's amazing. Going to write a book. You know, I, I would. I would love to tell my story. I was definitely in a dark place. I'm going to kind of go over things in November with you guys, and I'm going to tell you my journey. I'm going to show you a lot of pictures from the beginning while I was losing. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you a lot of different things like that. You'll see the skin was changing. Things were changing as I went along. I would like to write a book. I'm definitely writing a cookbook, though. That's what I'm working on right now is my keto cookbook. It's going to be quick and easy. That's what I love about my recipes is they are quick and easy, and 90% of them are inexpensive expensive as well. So it's going to be quick, easy keto meals and treats. I'm going to throw my treats in there too. I also have keto treats. Uh, just me. If you go to my playlist and look up the treats, I also show treats in there too that you can do as well. Thank you, Sharon. What a sweet thing to say. Yeah. Is that what you meant? The cookbook. Yep. I've been working on it. It's just, there's so many recipes and so much that you got to write down. And I would like to have a little bit like in the middle, a little bit of my journey, maybe some photos of me. I'm hoping to uh, get this published. Hi, Ruthie. Great to have you in, sweetheart. And let me hear it. I'm sure you lost more weight this week. How are things going? What can you eat when you break a fast? When you break the fast, I just stick with the same thing I was doing with keto. If you know keto, then that's what I do. I just, like today when I broke the fast, I just took some, um, uh, like, eggs. Usually I'll break it with eggs. Like I'll do a couple hard boiled eggs. I, do, I keep it simple when I first break the fast, like maybe two hard boiled eggs. One of those two good yolks are called two good, T-W-O good, two 
good yogurts, I'll have that. And then as I go along throughout the day, then I'll just probably eat a little bit of meat, maybe a salad, maybe some tuna. Uh, dinner, I'll make a meal. Tonight, I'm making another uh, mukbang, a healthy eating eating keto show for you guys that you guys will see tomorrow. I got another new recipe to show you guys. So basically, just as if you were maintenance eating on keto. You're going to eat meats, veggies, cheeses. You can use the oils, the butters, all of that. You're going to want a maintenance. So I'm guessing maybe you'd probably be around the same as me. Maybe you could do around 18 to 2,000 without weight gain. And you can have all of that if you're alternate day fasting. Yes, now I'm 221 from 249. Awesome, Ruthie. She is doing keto. Just me. That's what she's doing. She's been with me for a while. And she's losing this weight fast. I'm so excited for you, Ruthie. Congratulations. Are you still doing two meals a day? Aaron, such a sweetheart. <laughs> if you're new and you just came in, do me a favor and please hit that thumbs up. I'm going to stand up here real quick and just show you guys. Look at you. You can totally tell from other videos how much weight that I have lost just in the 13 days of an alternate day fasting. Look at how flat my stomach is getting. It's just unbelievable. My arms, you can see they've gotten thinner. You can definitely tell, you know, um, in videos and things like that from when you see me before to now. I mean, I feel totally the thinnest I've ever felt today. Like, it's just amazing. I love it. I love the way I feel and just so happy that I have such a great trainer. My brother Rob is amazing and I'm great to have him here every day. Thank you, Sharon. Uh, but but yes, just to get up, I mean, the, I've at 134 is my all-time lowest weight I've ever been. I think the last time I seen a weight like that, I was probably 12 or 13 years old, and I'm going to be 44 in December. I'm 43 years old right now, and I'm skinnier than I was in my early teens. It's just amazing. Now, I was never really a heavy person in my teens, and as you know, as I got older, like, you know, 16 to 18, I was never really a heavy person, maybe around 170. 180. But now, um, I mean, then I started to gain right after I had my son. I gained a lot while I was pregnant with him. I developed a heart condition called postpartum cardiomyopathy after I had my son. And I had gained a lot of weight with that pregnancy because my body fluid really bad around the heart and the lungs. Nobody even knew what I had. Um, but yeah, so throughout that, that's where a lot of the weight came on. I was almost 300 pounds then. And I was that for many years that I kept that weight on for all those years. I was on 18 medications. I'm down to just two now since doing keto. I tried many diets throughout that time, that 20 years, many, many diets. And I lost some weight and everything, but never got off any meds. But now I'm off all my heart meds, my cholesterol meds, my blood pressure meds, everything. I had high blood pressure, high triglycerides, high um, cholesterol levels, high sugar levels. I was pre-diabetic. I had, the, the heart was only pumping at like 25%. It pumps at almost 50 now. And I'm down to two meds. And cholesterol is fine. Triglycerides are fine. Uh, my blood pressure is now like, I run like 95 over 50. Like I run an amazing blood pressure, uh, sugar levels, no di pre-diabetic anymore. My sugar levels are around 80. Like it's just amazing how I changed everything and do it with keto. Cause I've tried many forms of lifestyles that I've done many diets, Richard Simmons, Weight Watchers, just low carbing, just all of it. And never once did I ever feel and, and get to a point in my life where I am now and change so many things. Keto is just amazing. Our bodies were not designed to eat carbs. It's just proving it. We're eating as the way our ancestors did. Real meats, real butter, you know, real cheese, all of that, and not eating the bad carbs. You know, we just, our world brought in a lot of bad foods. And that's why there's, you know, the obese rate is so high, you know, but keto is really getting big now. And a lot of people are getting all of their weight off. It's just amazing. Thank you, Hanging with Mary. Keto is high fat, low carb, right? Yes, high fat, low carb, but just me, remember this, okay? The high fat, though, if you're doing it for weight loss, starts with your body fat. So you're going to use the high fat off your body and eat low fat foods, okay? So you won't be cooking with oils and butter and all of that. You're going to eat uh, lower lean meats like I'm teaching you until you get down to a weight where you don't have body fat. Then you're going to eat the fats. Then you're going to eat high fat because there's three forms of of, you know, keto, losing, gaining, and maintaining. Not everybody's going to see, you know, be the same macro for your fat. You're definitely going to lower that fat down because if you don't, you'll lose the weight, but it'll come off really slow. You want to use your body fat as your high fat. And then of course the low carb 20 or less in a day, no more than six carbs in one sitting if you're doing more than one meal a day. So, and you don't even have to consume carbs. You can go zero. And that would mean don't eat any veggies, eat carnivore, just do carnivore, eat just meat, meat and eggs and cheese. 
and that's carnivore and you'll be zero carb. There's no significant value in a carb other than it's an energy source and you will get that from body, your body fat or foods that you eat. So people that are in weight loss, their body fat will give them all the energy they need and that's where it switches from the carb switches over to fat, which is fat burning and that's what's uh, your energy source is the fat, whether it comes off your body or you're eating it. And you don't want to eat it if you have fat on your body because it wouldn't make any sense. You know, it would take a long time to get your weight. So keep it low right now, keep everything low, and then once you get your weight off, then you can up and eat high-fat foods then. So the high-fat is two forms, either high-fat off your body, using that and eating as low as fat as you can, um, maybe 50 grams a day, or um, if you're skinny, then you're going to eat fats, okay? But good healthy fats, nuts, avocado, the certain oils I told you, the coconut, the olive oil, the avocado oil, um, eggs are a good one, real butter, uh, red meats, you're going to eat good healthy you know, fats, nuts. I think I did say nuts. But right now, let's keep everything low, just me. Read the labels. Yep, definitely got to read labels because there is a lot of hidden carbs and things. Thank you, sweetheart, Sharon. Thank you, Mary. Carnivore is excellent. Yes, it's the easiest way to stay in ketosis because you can't really screw up if you're basically zero carb. How many times a week is healthy? Is the egg? You are so welcome, just me. Yeah, definitely look at the carbs. You want to stay away from grains. So no pasta, no rice, no bread, no uh, peas or carrots or potatoes. You're going to stay away from all of that. You can't drink milk, just unsweetened vanilla almond milk. You're basically just going to be eating um, fresh meats, green leafy veggies, and... Um, eggs and like cheese if you want that's basically going to be your diet but there are many forms of recipes that i've thrown together that you'll be amazed at what you can have and um as far as for bread i teach some different ones that i have i do almond bread recipes and stuff like that if you need bread stuff like that so so but um i didn't really have, you know, my brother Rob was supposed to be in here today. I think he got stuck working. He's a single dad of three. So I think he got work, got stuck working a double shift today. So, uh, uh, you know, just some kind of a um, inspiration and just my subject for the day. I was going to have him go off of that. But so I didn't really have one planned, but I'll just talk to you guys about how amazing I've been feeling with this alternate day fasting. I highly recommend that people definitely do some kind of a fasting, intermittent fasting and keto. If you can do at least the smallest one, which is 16 hours, no food, eight hours where you eat. So you would eat like nine to five, uh, 10 to six, 11 to seven, uh, eight to four. And then after that, you would quit and you wouldn't eat again until the next day, which would be 16 hours until you hit that time again. That's the lowest amount. Then the next is called one meal a day. You would eat one meal every 24 hours. Okay, then there's longer fasting like I'm doing right now. I'm doing 40 hours in an eight hour window where I eat. I go 40 hours without food. Um, just to get to my goal weight, there's different forms to do it. But but if you include intermittent fasting with keto, the results are amazing. And what it'll do, it'll heal and mend and cure so many things in your body. And I highly recommend to people that you try the intermittent fasting and do it. You don't have to do as long as me. You can start off with just 16 hours and work your way up. Work, you know, after a week or so, go to a 24-hour fasting where you eat one meal a day. And then from there, do the 40-hour. And, you know, you're just going to find the longer you go and the more you hit autophagy, like when your body hits that autophagy, it's releasing toxins, it's curing, it's mending, it's healing, it's doing so much for you that that's when you really feel amazing. So I do recommend that you do that. And like I said, I didn't really have a subject to go off of, but I just, I recommend to you guys continue this, stay on the keto, definitely try intermittent fasting at 16 hours, uh, work hard, want this, stay away from cheat days. You know, I went my whole journey until I hit the goal weight that I wanted, my first original weight. I went that whole time without a cheat day. Try not to have cheat days. I feel like I cheat every day because I eat so good. But if you have to have a cheat day, wait till your mind is strong and you can handle it. And like when I cheat, I only cheat for dinner and a treat. I go all day keto. I have what I want for a cheat meal at dinner time, a treat. And by 12 o'clock that night, I'm done and I'm back to keto. And guess what? In almost four years, I've only had nine cheat days. And I didn't even have my first cheat day till I got to my goal weight. So that being said, those are things that I recommend to you guys. Um, just, I love the alternate day fasting. I love the way I 
feel. I have so much energy and it just is getting better and better each day that goes by. I love it and I would recommend it to anybody to try. I know you probably think, wow, that's a long time to go without food, but the longer you go, the more you're not hungry. And then when I hit the time where you think you're gonna gorge because you're so you're thinking you're gonna be so hungry going 40 hours, it's the complete opposite. Like, I'm just not even hungry, so I have to start off real light with a couple eggs to break that fast and then, you know, go up from there. So, but yeah, really no subject today other than I'm doing well with my, um, my fasting. I love it. I've lost 13 pounds in 13 days of alternate day fasting, which that means half of those days we're not eating, half we're eating. I love it. I love it so much. Yes, you will eventually love fasting. You will enjoy it so much and the benefits. Thank you, Sarah J. I'm glad that you love my recipes. I always try to make them simple for you guys too and pretty much inexpensive. Thank you. Yes, they are pretty yummy. My friend is doing keto and she is losing weight, but she but her strips is light pink and she is, is losing weight. That's okay. As long as she is a color, Ruthie, she's in keto. That just means that she may be eating a little bit too much fat and not using her body fat. The more she would use her body fat, the darker the color would get. Or she could slightly just be slipping out of out of uh, keto just slightly enough to not be a darker color because there's so many hidden carbs. Like eggs say zero, cheese says zero, uh, seasoning say zero, and they're really not. You got to watch all of that. And I just, like if somebody says zero, I just count it as one because a lot of times the eight, you know, the FDA can write in there zero because they're not telling you, well, that's just for a serving, but they're not telling you if you go over that serving, it's got carbs. So, but as long as she is a color, she's still in keto, but to get there, she would either eat a ton of fat for a few days, like really high fat, just high fat, almost zero carb for like three or four days to get it dark, get her body fat adapted, and then switch down to lower fat. That would really get her. I'm teaching that too. Within three days, a friend of mine, his name's Mike, within three days, he got dark purple eating super high fat, for uh, three days, um, like he was just doing one meal, but he was going super high fat in that one meal and he got super dark purple. So that's what you want. And then he got fat adapted. Then he could go down and start eating lower fat. So tell her to try that too, to get the color up, which will just help her burn fat quicker and lose faster. Thank you. Yeah, sorry it wasn't the greatest. Like I said, Robbie was going off the topic today, so I wasn't prepared for this. She's 74. Wow, Sharon, I didn't know you were 74 and she does keto. Congratulations. That's amazing. Yes, anybody can do it. And she's even fasting and she feels amazing. She's going to live, you're going to live well into your hundreds. That's just amazing, honey. I didn't know that. Oh, that's so great. I just love hearing all these health stories and these people that can do this intermittent fasting, can do the long fasting, can hit that autophagy stage and just feel like a million bucks, you know? I've never felt better. Today is my feasting day, so you see I am drinking a Diet Cherry 7-Up. Now, this one here has, if, if, if I'm not mistaken, it has the aspartame, because um, I can't really do Circlose. That one does pretty much knock me out of keto or knock my color way down. So I do. I find it with the aspartame in it, but I like the Diet 7-Up, and the um, Diet Root Beer is a good one I can do. But this is my feasting day, so I can have this. I'm having the soda today. So far today, I had some lunch meat, some cheese, um, I had a yogurt and I had a few of those cheese wisps. They're just, um, hard like chips that you can get that are just a cheese chip. I had a few of those and I had a little handful of nuts. I actually threw it into my yogurt. So that's what I've had so far today. And I plan to do a, a mukbang for you guys that I will have loaded for tomorrow for you guys. A great new recipe. And I'm excited to see if it turns out. I bet you it's going to be delicious. My mom and granddad always tell me it's never too late to change. And just me, you are correct. As long as you are not buried in underground yet, it's never too late to change your life. And we were just talking about that today. There's a lot of people out there that are thin like this. And yet, you know, if they are not eating healthy, they are not a healthy person. We just recently lost somebody on our YouTube community that was um, just a, a muckbanger that ate a lot of food. She was thin and she's gone now. She died of pancreatitis cancer. I'm Bless her heart and I kept her in my prayers for her family and stuff, and she was thin. And so it just proves that being thin does not prove healthy. It doesn't. You need to eat healthy, and that's important. And that's what it's all about, you guys. Like, we give one, God gives us one body to do with what we do with it. Do you want to, I always say there's two things. Do you want to eat or do you want to live? Which one do you want? I want to live, so I'm going to eat healthy to be able to live. So there's 
you can eat and you know enjoy all the foods out there and and be unhealthy and all that or you can live and you know what it's called eating to live not living to eat so just tell yourself i'm eating just to stay alive and to stay healthy and get in exactly what i need and that's it and that's what it's about and as long as you are not dead and underground and if you are living continue to live and live that life healthy start right now I don't care who you are and don't wait until Monday morning to start this diet. Start right now. Start keto right now. Run out or just look in your fridge. If you got meat and a veggie, there you go. You can start keto. If you have hot dogs, if you have eggs, you can start keto. So that's what it's about. It's not a hard way. It's not expensive. It's, you know, like I said, just do it. Like the Nike logo. logo. Just do it. <laughs> and if you guys need any extra help, I do link my email down in every one of my boxes except for this one. The live, it's not in there, but it's in all my boxes. If you need that extra kick, like somebody that's an alcoholic or, you know, have issues in their life, they need, like, you know, support. They go to AA. Let me be your support. If you're having a day that's hard and you don't understand something or you're failing, shoot me a message and I will kick your butt back into gear. I always tell people this. I love the Rocky quote in Rocky Balboa. I think it was the sixth Rocky movie where he says, it's life isn't all rainbows and sunshine. We live in a hard, cruel world. And he said, it's not about how hard you can get hit. It's about, I mean, it's not about how hard you get hit. I'm sorry, I'm getting mixed up here. It's not about how hard you get hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, keep moving on. That's how winning is done. And I love that quote. And also, here's another one I love. You can't have the rainbow without the storm. So you may have to work hard. You may have to give up a lot, but in the end, it's worth it because life is worth so much more than food. I lost my dad. He died at 48 to obesity. He was so young and he's gone now. You know what? I want to live. I want to be here for my kids because it was very hard losing my dad. So I choose life over food and I eat healthy and I, you know, just what I need to survive. And that's that. No, I'm not anorexic. I don't starve myself. I eat 2000 calories on my feasting day. That's why it's called feasting. I eat 2000 calories of keto food and keep myself healthy. And then I feast or fast for 40 hours. And I don't always do that, but I'm just doing it right now to get the rest of my weight off. But excuse me, it is going to be something that I am going to incorporate throughout my life now because I love autophagy. I love the way I feel. Autophagy is a state that you hit where it starts to heal, mend, and cure everything in your body. Mend old cells. It just will make you brand new again. It'll bring you from where you are from a, back down to a teenager. I feel younger than when I was in my 20s. I feel amazing. So much energy. Aw, oh, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, Sharon. That was nice. I know. I do feel like I'm glowing. I just feel amazing doing this fasting. My mom and grabbed always tell me, yep, okay, I already read that one. That's right, just me, you want to live. Eating the food last while you're eating it. Afterwards, you feel guilty, and that's right. You do, you do feel guilty, and it's not worth it. I mean, it's not worth it to me at all. Like, to have, like I said, I've only had, uh, what did I say, nine? Nine cheat days in four years. That is nothing, absolutely nothing. And... I would have had even less, but these were ones that, you know, my kid wanted me to do it on his 21st birthday, go out and have Chinese with him, and a couple holidays that my mom wanted me to eat and stuff like that. I would have rather just stayed keto, but that's not very much in almost four years. I'm proud of myself, and yeah, I felt guilty on every one I did, and then it takes, you know, three to four days to get back into keto, and it takes, like, two, like, a week or two to get the water weight off because you'll gain back six to eight pounds of water because you go out of ketosis. It's just not worth it to me. I love the way I eat and I feel like I cheat every day and I feel like, you know what, I get enough nutrition and everything that I need with the foods I make. And you guys, if you haven't seen my recipes, the recipe I make are amazing. Like I feel like I cheat every day. So to me, it's not about the food anymore. I'm not a food addict. I was a huge food addict. I have broke that habit long time ago, and now I just eat to live, and I enjoy life now. My thing is now, if I want something, I go out and buy myself a new outfit, or I go out and I treat myself to something else other than food. You know, I realized that food was what was bringing me down, and I will go over that with you guys in November, talk about my journey. It's going to be very emotional. I'll talk about my journey and where I was. I was in a very dark place at one time, and completely out of that dark place, off of meds and everything. I was on depressants, everything. I was on so many medication. I'm off of those. And I feel like medication also drags you down, you know? I just feel amazing. And I am loving every minute of life now. So many yummy recipes. Yep, you just gotta, you know, figure it out. 
Burgers with cheese and no bun. There you go. No bun, no ketchup. Or you can buy sugar-free ketchup. Yes, food constantly on the mind. And it's just like a smoker, an alcoholic, a sex addict. They are all addicts. Food people, when you eat a lot of food, you're a food addict. And you got to break that. And you got to become a person that eats to live. And that's it. And feel great. Like, I feel amazing, you guys. I come in here every week and I feel amazing. I love keto because it... it you know, really spikes your white blood count and helps you to never get sick. I hardly ever get sick now. And if I do, I have the sniffles the next day. I feel great because my white blood cell is so high and so, you know, the numbers are where they're supposed to be and keeps me healthy. I used to get sick three times a year, deathly sick. I mean, I would be put on prednisone, um, nebulizer machines, inhalers, everything, antibiotics, and I would be sick for weeks and weeks since starting keto. I I just knock on wood. Let me find a little bit of wood here. <laughs> knock on wood. I'm doing absolutely amazing and I feel great and I love life now. Love life. I love life now, not the food. The food was bringing me down and I thought that's what I loved. You know, I used to get so happy when we were heading to McDonald's and I could get a double burger and a super large fry dipped in a whole bunch of mayonnaise. You know, that's what I thought made me happy, but it truly didn't. What makes me happy now is being thin, enjoying life and, and enjoying like, being able to find that perfect outfit and look great in it other you know than that double burger you know with the bun and everything on it that was so unhealthy for me i'd rather go out and find i just found some cute outfits again for my outfits of the day and i was so excited that i'm a small a small to a medium i was a 3x when i first started like i can't believe that to go into stores now and be able to walk in any store um to be able to go into any restaurant and sit in any booth now i can fit to walk through and not have to say excuse me because i can't fit through somebody that's living. That's living. When you don't have to think, oh my gosh, I hope that person leaves pretty soon because I can't fit by them and I don't want to ask them to move. Or shoot, I hope they don't stick me in a booth because I'm not going to be able to fit. I remember how tight I was in that booth. I was so tight. I even have pictures to show you guys that I couldn't breathe. I couldn't walk more than two feet without being out of breath. Now I'm living. Now I live. Now I bounce through the store and I'm always, I mean, I get people all the time that say, God, you look so happy all the time. Because I am, this is not fake. I am the happiest person I could ever be in my life right now is the happiest I could ever be. And it's because I finally eat healthy, I am healthy, and I know I'm going to live a long life, and I broke my ad, you know, the addiction I had to food. You know, I still love to eat. I love the meals I make, but I love keto, and I love that it's healthy. Thank you so much, Just Me. My grandpa bought me some sugar-free ketchup. My mom grabbed it. Grants on me. Awesome. There, that's great to have supportive people. I had such a supportive family too. From Wendy's without the bun, the condiments. Good job. You know what you're doing then, just me. That's how you eat it. Um, but right now I wouldn't eat too many of those, hun, just because that's higher fat. And we want to keep the fat low using your body fat as your energy. So you would have wanted to get like a double chicken. So just tell them, say, I'd like a chicken sandwich. Um, with, you know, just the tomato and the lettuce, no bun or anything, and ask them to add an extra piece of chicken to it. It's like $2 extra. Do the, the grilled chicken, not the breaded one, the grilled chicken, or make that at home. Keep it as low as possible in the beginning, you know, but you can have the Baconator once in a while. Go out once in a while and have a dirty keto day. That's what it's called, where you eat higher fat one day and enjoy yourself, but you keep it keto. Keep it at 20 carbs or less. But yeah, the Baconators are really more for when you're in maintenance mode, but that doesn't mean you can't ever. So you know what? I'd rather you eat that than have a cheat day. Just eat that because you ain't going to gain any weight. You just probably won't lose, you know, as quick if you're going to do that. But if you want to lose it quick, just have those once in a while and um, eat at home. Eat a lower lean meat, um, you know, low lean, like, like I said, chicken, uh, fish, stuff like that. Keep it real low right now in the beginning. And if you do go out because you're out with family, then go ahead and have your double Baconator because, of course, you got to eat something when you're out or tell them to do the chicken because you can get the chicken breast. And if you want, get the chicken and cut it up and ask for a side salad and put that on a side salad. Ranch dressing, you know, that would be a lot better for you than the Baconator. But that being said, enjoy the Baconator once in a while. Just not all the time right now because you want to use your body fat as your high fat source if you want to get the weight off faster. Otherwise, it'll just take you a little bit longer to lose the weight. And, you know, it makes sense. Somebody that is obese or overweight, it's not healthy to eat high fat then. You want to use your high fat on your body as your energy source, if that makes sense. And I am not a doctor, nor am I a nutritionist, but I was taught by two professional nutritionists that are keto experts and my doctor who's keto expert and my brother who does this as a job. 
He's also a keto expert. So I was taught by experts. That's the only reason I bring it to you guys, because I was taught by experts. And so I would never steer you wrong, never tell you anything. And then I never will tell you anything unless I know for sure it's okay to do. I always do say check with your doctor before you start any regimen. But keto is an excellent way to eat, and you're not going to have any problems. You're just going to get healthy. So that's about all that's going to happen. Within my first two months or three months of doing keto, I was still well into my 200s, and my blood work was amazing when I was doing keto. Only, only way of life I ever did. And remember, this isn't a diet. This is a way of life. You're not going to just do this, just me, just, you know, to get your weight off and then magically go back to the way you were before. This is a way of life. You will eat this way the rest of your life. But what the great thing about keto is, is once you get your weight off, you are going to up those calories. Ton. Like I was eating as low as 500 calories to get the rest of the weight off. Now I eat, I'm doing alternate day, but now I eat 2,000. That's what I can eat, 2,000 calories to be in maintenance. And I'm a small girl. I'm only five foot four. I imagine you could probably eat 25 to 3,000 calories in maintenance when you get all the weight off. And yeah, you, you can have a few of those Baconators and a, a block of cheese if you want and cook all your foods and butter and everything. And you're going to keep that weight off forever and be very, very healthy. And I know it sounds crazy, but fats is what our body was designed to eat. But right now, use your body fat right now and keep it low until you get that weight off. And then eat good, healthy fats. Let's see. I will sure tell my friend high fat for three days. Yes, tell her high fat for three days. Keep the carb really low. So just tell her to eat like a lot of meat and eggs and cheese. Just like those three things for a few days. Um, like maybe within one or two meals and get that in and watch each day it'll get darker and darker. And as soon as she's dark, then she's fat adapted and then she can lower that fat. That's how you get into ketosis quicker for new beginners. My grandmother t um, told me to research all the research. I looked and said butter, high fats, no sugar, healthy lifestyle. Yep. Healthy lifestyle forever. Because you know why? Not because you're heavy, not because you're overweight, not because we were overweight. Our body's made up of fat and our brain. We need the fat. We don't need the carb. That's what our body doesn't need. That's what causes, you want to, you know, want to know what causes clogged arteries? Not high fat. We all thought it was. We all were told that. Nope. What causes clogged arteries is carbs and high blood pressure. That's what causes arteries to clog. Okay. But if you eat high fats and you'll keep that, um, your arteries clean and you know, no, no artery disease there you'll have. You'll have no problems. Carbs are what causes everything. Carbs is what causes cancer, what causes sicknesses to grow on. That's what it has to grow on. You pull that carb out, you aren't going to get cancer. You aren't going to get diseases because it has nothing to grow on. When you're eating only 20 or less carbs, have nothing to grow on. And that's why you're so healthy. And that's why fats are incredible for you. And I'm glad that you did your research and found that out. Because I do recommend that you do your research too as well. You know, hey, I could be a fake and a phony. I'm not. I've been on here for a while. But I could be a fake and a phony. So do your own research, okay? I'm certainly not a fake or a phony. I'm telling you guys the truth. But look it up. You will not find a site. Look it up and say, is high fat bad for you? And watch the list in Google. They'll tell you that fat is the most amazing way to eat. But of course, again, remember, all of you trying to lose weight, that also means the high fat on your body is good for you. So use that energy. Use that as your high fat. Keep your fats really low. Get the weight off of you and then up your fats when you're skinny. Then you're going to eat fats. But right now you're going to use the fat on your body because guess what? When you're fat, and I'll kind of stand up and just show you an example. Let's just say I was fat. I would say here's chicken, here's your butter, here's your nuts, here's this, here's that. All that fat that would be on your body when you're trying to lose, there's your high fat right there. Tell yourself, eat that. That's your high fat and keep everything low fat and watch the weight fly off of you. And this is how I was taught by professionals. And that's why I'm so healthy, why I got it off so fast and why I'm living such a healthy lifestyle. And now I can eat those higher fats because I'm pretty much goal weight, trying to lose a few extra pounds. Um, but I'm doing alternate day and then of course eating 2000 calories on the days I eat and all good healthy fat. You don't want to eat the processed foods. You can eat it once in a while, but you want to keep it good healthy fats. Like I said, nuts, eggs, butter, red meat, avocado, um, the coconut oils, the MCT oils, the uh, avocado oil, olive oil. You want to keep it stuff like that, you know, you know, cheese, just things that are good and healthy for you. That's what you want. You won't drink milk anymore either. You're going to drink unsweetened vanilla almond milk. No more milk. Can't have the milk either on this way of life. So yes, we give up a lot, but truly are we giving up a lot? Nuh-uh. We're getting rid of a lot and giving ourselves life again because life is much more important than all those foods so you're truly not giving up anything you're giving yourself life remember that 
I read that sugar is as addictive as heroin. It is. It's just terrible for you and will cause diabetes, cause problems. It is. And it's hard to get away from. That's why I tell people right now, if when you're first starting and you have that sugar, like feeling like you want to eat sugar, eat a pickle. It completely takes it away. I was taught that. Eat a pickle and it'll be gone. And you can have pickles on keto. So eat a pickle and I watch that craving for sugar go away. And the longer you go, you know, week one will be a little bit hard. Then by week two, you're getting better by week three. You're fine. You don't even need the sugar. You won't even crave it at all. So, but there are options. Like if somebody does need to have a treat once in a while, I, I teach on my channel the Quest products. Uh, they sell Quest cookies. They sell the Quest bars. That's something that you can have because they're made with erythritol and stevia. Those are the ones that you can have for sugar-based things that you eat. So the Quest products, they're the best ones to do. If you absolutely have to have something sweet, that's what I want you to eat. But if you don't need it or you are and you, 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 you want to try to refrain from eating a donut or something and getting out of keto, go get a pickle. Watch how fast your mind switches over and doesn't need the sugar. It's so weird how a pickle can do that. The sad American diet. Yep, is what we were raised on until keto all the way. Yep. That's so funny that, that they, they call it the sad American diet. I know because that's exactly what it is. It's so sad that they were teaching us to go low fat and, and to eat, you know, the pyramid diet and all that. Mm -mm. How many people got sick and ill and died? I lost my dad at 48. Proof. You know, that wasn't the way to go. Why did they just tell us about keto? Because keto was way back Bible time. That's how they ate in Bible time. Good green leafy veggies and meat. They killed their meat and ate their meat. They were all ketogenic because they didn't have the bread and the cake and the donuts and the cookies and everything we have now. They were all keto. That's why in the Bible, they lived well into their hundreds. So it just proves we just, our world just brought in too much bad foods. We're just, because they're trying, you know why? Because America's trying to, depreciate the world because we're so overpopulated. They want us just to die, just like cancer. They know the cure. They know the cure to cancer. It's just not going to tell us, but I'll tell you the cure to cancer. Keto. Keto will kill any cancer cell in your body. I had um, cells. I had cancer cells. I had, um, I forget the name of it, but I had uh, cancer cells in my ovaries. Cured it completely. Gone. Dormant. Bye-bye since I started keto. I know somebody that had a brain tumor. They wanted to do radiation. He said, can I try something first? They said, it's your body. He went home, he did keto, shrunk that tumor in his brain, gone from doing fasting. Fasting is so important. It's in the Bible. Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Fasting and keto and you'll never get cancer. Mm -mm. You're going to live a long, healthy life. That's the answers, but they're not going to tell you. And just like people like us, eventually, I'm sure we're going to get knocked off of these channels because doctors are going to pay people off because guess what? The doctors, the nutrition, nutritionist, the drug industry, and the food industry is all losing money. And there's, like I said, my brother was going to talk to you guys about that, that he just saw online, that they're kind of putting things online, like called ghosts, where you can't find people when you write in the keyword keto, can't find you. Doctors are paying them off because they're losing money. They're losing money because we're getting healthy. Now, are doctors trying to kill us? No, they're not trying to kill us. But they don't want us to get healthy because we get healthy. They can't prescribe drugs. They can't. I mean, I was on 18 drugs. I'm down to two. I mean, my doctor's begging me to take these other drugs. I'm like, no, I'm not taking them. Not my keto doctor. Just, you know, another doctor that I see. Just saying, you know, I think you should take that. I think it would be better for you. They need me to take it. They need it because that's how they make their money. It's, you know, that doesn't mean that they're bad. It's just how they make their money. We need doctors for surgeons. We need doctors to help cure and mend things, you know, that we need and stuff like that. Absolutely, we need doctors. We need them. But they're losing money out of their pocket when we do keto, and it's so sad. But I just want to reach America. I want to reach as many people as I can around the world before we do lose these channels and doctors pay people off to get rid of us that are helping, you know. So if you can yourself, word of mouth, tell everybody, help me. I'm one person. Help me. Get the word out. Keto, get as many people on board as we can. And let's try to get as many people healthy as we can. Because one of these days, yes, we're going to be knocked off these channels. They're going to be paid off because they're going to lose too much money. All those companies are going to be out of money and... People like us, they're going to shut us down because they don't want us to help people. And that's very sad. Boredom also makes you want to eat. Yes, being bored. So keep yourself busy. Do things. Go for a walk. Go for a run. Read a book. Color. I do nails. Watch movies. Have fun with your kids. Have fun with your family. Do things. Keep your mind away from food. It shouldn't be all about food. And that's what it was for me. Yeah, we are fat. Americans are fat because of the way we eat. Like our country is so different than other countries. I live in Texas. Lots of carbs, but it's but it's doable. Yeah, 
And it is because we can have the meats and everything like that. Just stay away from those carbs. They won't have a job anymore. That's right, just me. Their jobs are going to be out of business. And that's sad. I mean, we don't want to put them out of business, but it's also sad that they need us to be on these medications and they need all that. So like when I first went in and I seen my first doctor, I said about keto, they're like, oh God, no, you, you can't do keto. That'll kill you. Kill me? That's the words they used. I took it upon myself to do keto myself. Here I am four years later. My heart's almost 50%. That's a normal heart for everybody. My heart's almost back to normal. I'm off 18 medications. I was dying then. I did keto, took it upon myself and the Lord because I'm a big Christian. I totally believe in God. And I asked God his advice and I dropped to my knees and I prayed and I took God's advice and I did the keto. And because of that, I'm off all my meds now and healthier than I could ever be. I know another lady got a hold of me, was crying and said, Angel, I was even told by my doctor they didn't know what to do to help me. She was in a wheelchair. She goes, I have no idea what to do. But because I found your channel, I have lost over 50 pounds and I'm finally losing weight. Even the doctor, he literally looked at her and said, I don't know what to tell you to help you. Really? He didn't know what to tell her to do to help her? How sad is that? And I'm sure she was on many medications and everything, but she said that she, I, I cried when I read that video. I get messages all the time from people that I've helped them, that I was the one that helped them over their own doctors. Like, I just wish doctors would tell us the truth. And you will get good doctors. I have a good doctor. I have a keto doctor that will tell you the truth. Some, but a lot of them won't because it loses money out of their pocket, you know? And it's sad. We all know, well, money is the root of all evil. Many died and suffered today. Yep, they did. I mean, my dad was only 48 and he's gone from obesity. Just won't have a job anymore. Great testimony. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you so much. Um, I'm getting down to about four minutes left on here. So, But I just want to tell you guys, I'm glad to have had all of you guys in. Thank you for the thumbs up. If, if any of you missed it, please hit that thumbs up for me. Um, if you have people that would, would benefit from this video, please share this video because, of course, when the live goes away, it still goes up on my channel. You can still watch it. So please tell your friends about it and tell them to watch it. Please do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed to me, hit the notification bell so you are notified of all of my videos hi kate and sweetheart um so you're notified of all my videos share share it around on instagram uh snapchat facebook word of mouth tell people about me so that i can help as many people as i can before people like the like us are taken off of these channels help me to grow on this channel and help the whole world get healthy that's all i want i want everybody to get healthy this is my calling of god i believe it i have already helped thousands get healthy, but it's not enough for me. And until they put me in the ground, I'm not going to stop. And if they take me off of here, guess what? I'm going to walk the streets. Just like, just like they say, like Gandhi did. I'm going to walk the streets and spread the good word of keto. You won't be able to get rid of me until I'm dead and gone and buried underground. I will continue to preach and get out and help as many people as I can. I see people daily on the streets and I walk up to them and I talk to them and I'm very good about it. So I don't go about it in a bad way to, you know, to offend anybody by their weight. But I see people, you know, buying certain things and I can tell they're trying to diet and I jump right in and I talk to them because I want to help as many people as I can. You're not going to be able to take me away. One day they could take me off of here, but they're not going to take me away. Never. So that being said, let's see, just me, just me, stay keto, hon. You can do it. Yep. Just stay keto. You're very welcome, Just Me. Glad to have you in my chat today. I will be back next week. Not sure if it's Saturday or Sunday, but I always let you guys know through the week um, or on that morning that I load either Saturday or Sunday, I'll load some kind of a mukbang or a, you know, a keto, healthy keto eating show, I mean. Um, I will write it in the description of that if I'm going to be live that day or what day I'm going to be live. It'll be Saturday or Sunday. So, but on a positive note, it was so good to see you too, Sharon. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to tell you guys where I am next week, a week from now, another week of alternate fasting. Hi, Nice to see you. I'm getting ready to sign off. Isaac, sorry, is it Isaac? Sorry, I'm getting ready to sign off, dear, but I love you all so much. Again, inspiration. Life is not all rainbows and sunshine. We are given one body. God gave us one body to do with what we want with it. Do we want to live or do we want to eat? Which one do you want to do? And I don't mean that we can't eat. We eat. But let's healthy eat, okay? I love you guys. Stay strong. Stay positive. Try the alternate um, or the intermittent fasting first. Try 16 hours, then go 24 hours, then try the alternate day fasting and stay keto. Eat healthy, be healthy. And remember, your life is worth more than that donut or anything. Remember that because you're truly not living when we're eating bad stuff. We're not living. 
live. That's what you want to do. And remember, again, can't have the rainbow without the storm. So know you're going to have hard times. I'm always there for you guys. If you need me, send me an email and I will be your AA. I love you guys very much. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next video. Take care, everybody. Have a great week. Oh, and happy Father's Day to any fathers who are on here. Tomorrow's Father's Day, and I wish all of you the best. Love you guys. Have fun tomorrow, and stay keto. Do dirty keto if you have to tomorrow, but everybody stay keto for me. Just because it's Father's Day doesn't mean we have to overeat, right? Enjoy yourself, and remember what Father's Day is truly about. It's not about food. It's about your daddy is still there. I wish my dad was still here. But those of you that still have your dad or that are a dad, stay healthy, stay happy, and stay positive. I love you all. Good night. Take care, everyone. Oh, and always remember to keep it keto.